Now we have a question for, from our Spanish audience. They asked a very interesting question. How do we combine correctly modern medicine and medical missionary work? Modern medicine is based on allopathy. Allopathy is when you fight a disease with something that uh, will eliminate it. For example, if you have a bacterial infection, you fight it with antibiotics. Uh, your, your methodology is to get rid of the pathogen. Unfortunately, there are side effects in getting rid of the pathogen because you also get rid of the good guys that are supposed to supply you with uh, many of your other needs. So uh, if you take chemotherapy, for example, the chemotherapy therapy kills cancer cells but it also kills healthy cells. And eventually, your hope is that the cancer cells will be dead before you are dead. Mm. So if you continued long enough with chemotherapy, it'll kill you because that's what it's designed to do. So the conventional method has its merits but it also has its negative side effects. And that is the problem with conventional medicine. Uh, conventional medicine, of course, in many cases is absolutely necessary. For example, if you have bone breakages, then you certainly want to go and have that set right. Or if you have uh, particular problems that need to be eliminated and cut out, then that is the way to go. But most of the diseases that we have in the world today are lifestyle diseases. And, you know, the medical world is not geared to treating lifestyle diseases. The medical world is there to treat the symptoms, never to treat the cause. In fact, the medical world is discouraged from even asking what the cause is. They just treat the symptoms. And it is a symptom, a drug, an outcome. But the drug always has a side effect as well. And if you don't believe it, then take any, any drug that is prescribed, take out the pamphlet and read the side effects. 90% uh, of the time, if you believed what it says on those side effects, you'd never take the drug because you're convinced the drug is going to kill you. Even something as simple as paracetamol, just have a look at that and see what the side effects can be. You will be astounded. So that is why naturopathy is a very, very sound alternative. Now, if you have to weigh the two up, the healthiest alternative is naturopathy. If the disease that you have is going to kill you before the naturopathy can actually kick in and help you, well, then go for allopathy. Then go for the conventional methods of doing it. If I have a bacterial infection that's going to kill me in three days, and a natural remedy will cure me in 10 days, well, then I'm going to go with something that's going to get rid of this pathogen within three days. So I'm going to go to a medical doctor. I'm not going to exclude the medical world as far as that is concerned. But if I have something, something other, like a lifestyle disease or, or whatever, or a flu or something like that, where a natural remedy can help my body to get rid of it without putting other burdens on my body, then I go the natural way. So I would never say get rid of the medical world entirely. It has its place. But generally speaking, the natural way is the better way to go because it will not burden the body as you proceed through the healing process. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Fight. So we have to finesse the balance and also use wisdom 
um, in, yes. in, 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 you know, considering conventional medicine and combining it with uh, medical missionary work. 